Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing a new LM, which is called MPT. And this is basically a new LM that was released by Mosaic ML Foundation. And basically it was released today on May 5th. And what they're trying to do is create this new language model that has been designed to be open source and commercially usable. Now this model is a transformer that has been trained from scratch off of 1 trillion tokens of text and code and it matches the quality of Llama's 7 billion parameter actual language model. Now another language model developed by Mosaic ML has been their new model of MPT and this is something that we're going to be talking about later on in the video. Now this is quite amazing guys because you already know with new different LMs as well as new open source projects we're able to see a more innovative approach to different use cases in the AI world. So this is definitely something that's great to see and in today's video we're going to be not only showcasing a little bit about what this project is but we're also going to be comparing it to Llama as well as checking a look at some of their data sets. We're also going to be playing around with their actual chat bot as well as taking a look at their instruct chat and this is something that we're going to be checking out today and a huge thanks to the creators of this guys this is awesome as it's something that's going to be quite revolutionary in the ai world now with that thought guys if you guys haven't subscribed please do so turn on the notification bell like this video guys it would really mean a lot if you guys can do so and if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos please do so as there's a lot of value and content that you will definitely benefit from and with that thought let's get right into the video so what is this new lm which is mpt 7 billion parameters now what it basically is is has been trained on the mosaic ml platform and in just nine and i believe 9.5 days they've been able to do this at a cost of approximately 200k guys this is absolutely amazing as to what they've done with zero human intervention now this from today has been able to be usable and trained that has been also fine-tuned and deployed for different private language models so you're actually able to deploy this on different use cases now you can start from one of the mosaic ml foundations and use their checkpoints to train your models from scratch in addition to this you're able to use the base mpt 7 billion model the foundation of mosaic ml as also a pre-trained model that has been fine-tuned for different reasons as well as different use cases now these models are mpt 7 billion instruct 7 billion parameter uh, chatbot as well as the 7 billion parameter story writer which is incorporated with 65k tokens that have been used to actually help in terms of the combat as well as the context length of utilizing and generating different types of story writing details overall i definitely feel that this is going to be quite useful in different use cases and you can see over here that it's a context of 65 tokens on a filtered fiction subset and this is off their books 3 data set now all of these things are licensed using alpaca 2.0 and they're all used for commercial use cases and you can access it using the link over here and i'll put all the links in the description below you're also able to access different languages and licenses as well as the hugging face links on their website so i highly recommend that you check this out i'll also leave the links in the description below now in the recent weeks we've seen an uprise of natural language processing with the rise of different lms being released however for most of the times the outside of the well resource industry labs training and deploying these models can be extensively like expensive and it's incredibly challenging now this has prompted a surge of an activity focus on open source lms and this is something that i've seen uh, with uh, different open source LMs that I've basically talked about, including Llama series from Meta, which we talked about yesterday as an open Llama source LM. We also talked about Luther AI, Stable LM series, as well as Stability AI, Open Llama models, as well as different things. Now, at Mosaic AI, the thing is that we understand these limitations with the actual applications and models but they're actually able to do this by introducing their own mpt model which is a mosaic ml pre-trained transformer model series now the goal is to finally provide a commercially usable open source model that matches and even surpasses the capabilities of llama 7 billion parameter now 
some of the things that they've actually been able to apart themselves with Llama is that their model is licensed for commercial uses, unlike Llama. Obviously, they just released their Open Llama like project, but it's quite different from their original project as it's definitely a little bit different in a lot of different cases. Now, they've also trained their model with large amounts of data, and specifically, they trained it off of 1 trillion tokens, which is quite remarkable and it's quite comparable to llama as they've been able to utilize the same amount of token lens but it's more like pythia actually as well as open llama and stable lm because of their token size and training their model is also equipped to handle extreme long inputs thanks to albi so you're able to actually input a lot of different things in the chatbot and you're able to get the best generative answers and it's because they've been training up to 65k inputs of tokens as well as the ability to handle 84k inputs worth of tokens now this is a vast improvement between as well as over the 2 to 4k inputs of tokens that other lms as well as open source models can handle now they've been able to do this by optimizing their model for fast training and interface through flash attention as well as fast and transformers and basically this has been done with zero human intervention and with this they've been able to be highly efficient with their open source training code and this is some of the key remarkable things that i was actually able to think about with this amazing project guys as it's gonna be quite revolutionary as to what they're trying to accomplish with their rigorous evaluations of the, with their new model series of mpt on a range of different benchmarks so it's quite amazing how high quality their bar has been set compared to llama and i'm definitely excited with this new model as well as there are three other fine-tuned like variants which is the base the story writer as well as the instruct and you have the chat and you're able to build upon these models base models as it's open source and you're able to deliver a lot of different things with this so it's quite remarkable what they're doing now let's take a look as to what the actual mpt like transformer is as well as getting to understand a little bit more and then we can take a look at some of the examples as to how the chat is basically working as well as generating different types of text with their prompts we'll also be taking a look at some of the different base models so that you get a better understanding and differentiate what they're able to do so basically they've introduced the mosaic pre-trained transformer now it's for decoder only transformers and it follows the gpt style architecture but with several different improvements now these models have performance optimized layer implementations and basically the architecture changes that increased training stability and it eliminates the context with length text limits now these modific modification sorry means that customers can train their mpt models with greater efficiency and we can see that they're able to get a better 40 to 60 percent range of more efficiency without diverging with the loss of spikes and this is quite important because the models can be served using both standard hugging face pipelines as well as faster transformers and this is quite useful because it makes it easy for a wide range of different applications in simpler terms i basically think that mpt is able to provide specifically designed like applications to perform better with their stable like a process during training as well as giving you a better efficient way and a faster way to do so so this is quite remarkable guys now let's take a look at their actual examples of their actual chatbot in terms of their chatbot you're basically going to get the same sort of idea with llama's chatbot you're going to be able to do a lot of different things and get a bigger output compared to different open source like contextual outputs of artificial generated content that's one of the great things that i was actually able to think about because if you note note it you have a 65k token length with additional generating as long as the 84k so you're able to get larger contextual like basic generative answers and this is quite remarkable guys because you're going to be able to use it for a lot of different use cases with a small parameter of only 7 billion now in this we're able to see that you give a prompt that i want to come up with a tweet based on the summary of this article and you're able to see that you're able to get this generative prompt i mean this generative answers using this prompt now for this you're also able to get a different suggestion for this tweet and you're able to get different generative contents that is related to your prompt and you get the basic idea that it's quite similar to different models 
I definitely think that it's quite better compared to Llama as it's efficiently produced as well as it doesn't use utilize a lot of different like tokens to do so and I definitely feel like it's compared comparable to Llama's 7 billion parameter and it's quite amazing to see as a company like this going against such a bigger company like Meta with their different model. Now, let's take a look at some of their actual evaluations and comparisons to the zero shot performance between MPT as well as other models such as like Pythia, as well as Llama, Stable LM, and different models like over here. Now, we can see that the zero shot accuracy of MPT 7 billion versus Llama 7 billion versus the other different open source models on academic tasks. So that means that you're able to get better efficiency, better accuracy on different fronts with actual like a mosaic mpt compared to like other models and we can see that over here that you have a good range of different like like in a way it's comparable obviously you're not going to get the best results all the time but you can see that it's basically doing way better than all the other ones and you can see that you're actually able to get the better results in certain cases obviously in certain cases llama is going to be better uh, because of the resource and the backing that it has but you're able to see that you're actually able to get the best amount of results compared to these other models which is quite amazing and it's quite good to see certain things like this now what is so good about this lm compared to other actual lms now we have a lot of different open source lms and one of the several advantages is that basically mpt models are licensed for commercial use and this is not the case with many of these popular different models like Llama. But obviously, you can see that they released their open Llama, like open source actual LM. But in this case, MPT has a different model and it's basically been marketed as an open source commercially used project. Additionally, I feel like this MPT model has been trained on large amounts of data, which is like 1 trillion, and you're making it comparable in quality to other top models like Llama, which has a lot of different backings with different resources, as well as the company itself that backs it. And they are also designed to handle extremely long inputs with uh, MPT, and this is obviously thanks to Alibi, and this allows for input lengths to about 65k tokens. Now, another significant advantage of MPT is that it has been optimized for both fast training and interference using in techniques like flash attention as well as flash transformers. Now, this means that the user can train their model more quickly and efficiently. And this is the best amount of things that, but like some of the best advantages that I was actually able to think about. Now, in terms of their maximum lengths, uh, input lengths, you can see the actual difference between these other gpts as well as these other models with pythia you're not even able to get close to this the closest thing that we can see is that gpt based off of the 30 32k uh, length token length and this is quite awesome because you're able to do so much with this open source lm with their actual input length and obviously this case is quite useful because you have these different lms but you're not able to do anything with it basically because of the small parameter size as well as their input towards their chat bot and this is one of the things that hinders it from actually succeeding compared to other different things now you can there's a lot of examples as well as a lot of information as to what you can do as well as the, some examples as to how you can use the different base models so i highly recommend that you check this out guys on their actual blog website as you'll get a better understanding of more of analysis as well as a detailed understanding of what they're trying to do in terms of their data sets analysis of their project roadmap as well as tokenizations of their actual use cases of their data now i'm gonna focus a little bit more on their actual chatbot a little bit show you a little demo of it and which you can access on hugging face interface so i highly recommend that you play around with it and check this actual website out as you'll get a better understanding of what this project is trying to accomplish but that's just the gist of what mosaic mpt lm is now let's take a look at their chatbot so we get a better understanding of what they're trying to do with their actual chatbot now the difference between the two base models instruct as well as the mpt chatbot is basically that the actual instruct is approximately based off of the instruction demonstrations whereas the chatbot has been fine-tuned to approximately be focused on different conversation samples and it helps you get more generative answers for a day-to-day -day aspect whereas instruct is more of like a 
basic like ask question q a type of thing and we can see something like this for example like we'll write a travel blog as well as you're able to get generative answers like this but you can see that you can write a travel blog for a three day three day trip in thailand we can see this answer right here with the instruct i was in bangkok for three days blah 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 and you can see that will keep generating long textual answers and this is because of their tokenization now this is taking a little bit longer obviously because there's a lot of people using this at this current moment but you get the gist of it guys and i'll leave this link in the description below you can actually download the models from hugging place and you can actually duplicate this on the space so if you want to do so i'll definitely leave all the links in the description below and that's basically it for today's video on mpt guys this is going to be quite revolutionary as it's an open source commercially use usable lm and i definitely feel like it will keep on innovating i never emphasized a little bit on the roadmap because i don't have a lot of idea as to what they're trying to accomplish with their future data sets as well as their future goals but this is definitely something that's going to be on my tab as i have a lot of different things on my tab but this is definitely going to be something that i will definitely keep an eye out as they're going to be doing a lot of good things in the future and that's basically it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you had this uh if you like this video hope you found it informative and with that thought guys please subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and comment anything you want to see in the future and with that thought guys have an amazing day have a bright smile spread positivity and with that thought i'll catch you guys later guys peace out i'll see you guys next time